Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Duantamad and welcome to our video here at Madodo's channel. For today's video, we are going to discuss our new made Vortex Brewer design here at Made Farms. So follow me to see the design of this uh, system. So this Vortex Brewer is designed to be attached to an aquaponic system to take care of the excess solids. It could be it could be attached in line or it can be offline, okay? So if it if it's attached in line, we have a connector on the other side which I'll show you er, uh, later. Uh, and if it's attached offline, you can have it separate in your facility. So this is the main vortex tank. It has two chambers. The inner chamber is the vortex chamber and the outer chamber is our static uh, media to filter out the brew from our middle chamber, okay? So the flow of this uh, vortex brewer is from the bottom. So we have from the bottom here, water sucked in from the bottom. And then we have an air lift here. So the air lift, we have a hose here, an air, an air stone that provides the air lift for our system. Okay. So let me place the air stone back. So the principle of the air lift is uh, the air is forced through this pipe uh, when, and then when it, the air is forced through it, it the water is forced with the air we uh, forced to flow with the air okay and then when you when the water reaches here it has a pipe that diverts the water through this elbow so this elbow uh, provides a tangential flow okay so the tangential flow will create a vortex at the center okay so let's use a food dye i have a food dye here so we can see the vortex in action okay we can use compost but for the purpose of this video i'm gonna use food dye so we can see how the vortex forms okay As you can see, the vortex is slowly forming. Water from the pipe or from the air lift is diverted to a, to a tangential flow. And then when it reaches the center, it creates a vortex. And then it goes down until it reaches the bottom drain. And then from the bottom drain, it will again, again, it will then again travel to the airlift and back here at the elbow. Okay, so the vortex is a very efficient way of drawing air from the atmosphere and dissolving it to the water because it's a uh, because the w velocity of the water is traveling faster here. So the faster the velocity of a certain fluid, the the lower the pressure. So when you have low pressure in this area. It, it attracts atmospheric air which has a higher pressure and it forces air to dissolve into the water around it or into the fluid around it. So as you can see the vortex is now forming. You can see the red dye. The vortex now forming and it's reaching the bottom of our vortex chamber. Okay? So let's now discuss now we keep the compost brewing here for um, it depends on the system it may be for a small system uh, 48 hours for a larger system it can reach up to a month of brewing okay so it depends on the size of the on the volume of the compost being brewed so here we, the elbow uh, although it, the Coriolis effect of the earth has very little effect because this is a small system you can twist the elbow to provide a clockwise or counterclockwise direction depending on where you are. So we are in the northern hemisphere so we do, we, we can go uh, counterclockwise and if you're in the southern hemisphere you can go clockwise. Although it has very little effect, the Coriolis effect has very little effect, it's nice to go with the flow too. No? So you can divert the flow in any direction you want. Okay, So we disturb the vortex. Okay, so 
when you finish brewing your system, you can drain. We have a drain here. You can open the drain. And you can drain to your back to your DWC, your floating raft, or you can drain it to your soil-based garden. Because we have a, a static chamber outside, the compost inside or the brewing compost inside is filtered before it goes to your DWC. So you can add this uh, vortex brewer to your decoupled aquaponics system or to your uh, inline aquaponics system as, a, as an additional um, remineralization tank to process your excess, so excess solids in your system. We also have a smaller version here. So this is the smaller version for backyard systems. Uh, it has the same uh, inner chamber. We, we, did, we did not install the vortex yet. And then it has the outer static uh, filter. Okay, so now let's do the actual uh, addition of uh, sludge here. So, if so, at the bottom, as I told you earlier, that's the that's the bottom drain of our uh, vortex brewer. So let's get some sludge here in our filter. So we have a filter over here. Uh, let's let's get some sludge or excess sludge from our drain. This is an our, our aquaponics filter. And then let's brew it here, okay? So if it's if it's offline, you can get your sludge from your filter and then brew it here, okay? So our system is fairly clean. We don't have that much sludge. Let's get some more. Let's get some more here. Yeah, we have more sludge here. So we don't want to waste that sludge and we want that to remineralize in our vortex brewer. So let's watch as the vortex forms in our brewer. Let's watch the vortex forming. So the vortex is slowly forming, the sludge is constantly moving. Because we're using an airlift pump, we don't have moving parts parts that can plug or impellers that can wear down because of the contact with the compost, okay? So let's uh, watch this as, uh, as the vortex forms. It's slowly forming, there you go. So as the vortex forms, the compost is mixed and as the airlift uh, transfers more oxygenated water, the composting process becomes aerobic. So when you have a highly aerobic composting process, you convert more of the compost into usable nutrients for your aquaponic system or your garden system. Okay? So you can increase the, the flow or the vortex speed if you increase the level of aeration. So here we're only using a small air stone, but in the, if you want to increase that, you can have a dedicated compressor that pumps in more air into your system, okay? So let that brew for a while. As it brews, you will see uh, bubbles foaming in the system, okay? Okay, so to recap our Vortex Brewer, this is our uh, made uh, Vortex Brewer. It has an inner Vortex Chamber and an outer static uh, filter to filter out your compost or your compost tea for, your, for the use in your garden or in your aquaponic system. This is an airlift uh, system. We also, this is the industrial size for big systems and we have the backyard size for small systems. Okay, so if you wanna learn, more about aquaponics, composting, brewing, or anything about uh, farming or gardening, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Madodel, 
And we also have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. Uh, you can follow Modular Aquaponics to get our schedules or our seminar schedules. And don't forget to hit the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel so you can get updated to, on our future videos. Again, thank you for watching.